All right. So can you guys see my screen? Hello, hello. Were you guys able yes, to see sir. my screen? All right. So let me just check if you guys are already in front of your computer. So just give me a thumbs up just to let me know that uh, you guys are already there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine out of 17. 10, 11, 12. Okay, great. So it seems that most of you are already uh, ready for the uh, short introduction. All right. So I hope you guys have already checked some of the things that you guys can see in your canvas right now. So, uh, in your home page, you will see this one. As usual, you will see the instructor's profile, the syllabus, and then the modules. So for the instructor's profile, so you will see here the infos about me. So here's my complete name. So you can just call me Sir Paul or Sir Saavedra, or you can just call me Sir Daniel. So it's up to you. And yeah, so I also graduated at UC, okay, way back 2018. And what else? So here's my education attainment, so as you can see, and then here's my areas of interest, okay, as of now. So of course, this one is, uh, you know, keep on changing for the time, but uh, for now, maybe this year. So my focus is uh, mo uh, yeah, mostly uh, web developing. And then let's see, 10% of Android developing. And then the rest, so I, I, I cannot uh, do the others uh, for now since, you know, as you guys may all know, uh, it's pandemic. So... Uh, no for robotics, internet things, uh, maybe a little, machine learning, uh, also a little, but mostly web development. All right, so yeah, that's me. And I'm at age of 24 right now, going 25, it's coming October. So yeah, and then for your introduction, so this is where you are going to submit your, of course, your uh, infos about yourself, your name, your address, if you want to share your address. And your expectation with scores uh what else and your connectivity that's very important okay so as of now there were only four who submitted a video so this is just a one minute video which composed of this five okay your complete name your location etc etc all right so please do uh finish this one until before june 26. Okay, so this is also 20 points. So this is also a big thing. All right. So yeah, that's it for this uh, week uh, zero. So do you guys understand so far? Are you guys able to follow? All right. So just let me know if there is a uh, technical issues like uh, maybe uh, audio problem, or maybe uh, maybe my, my screen sharing is uh, not that smooth, so that uh, we can uh, fix it. All right, so the next thing that you should visit is, of course, the syllabus. Okay, so you can go to the home page and then click this link right here, or you can just uh, uh, go to this uh, page right here, okay, this tab page, uh, syllabus. So out of those two, it will lead you to the same as syllabus. But before that, so here's a short introduction. So as you guys may all know, uh, this is about uh, the fundamentals of computer. Okay, so of course you will learn the basics, basics of basics. And after that, okay, after the basics of computers, we'll go over programming. Okay, but don't you guys worry, this will be on finals. So uh, you have nothing to worry for now. So for now, just focus on the computers uh, computer fundamentals. All right, and this course will be delivered in ODL, of course. Okay, and then here are the course overview. So we could see that the uh, course overview uh, one, two, and three. Okay, this is mostly for ah, sorry, my bad. One and two. Okay, this is mostly for uh, midterms, and then three and four is for the finals. All right. So yeah, that's it for this. Uh, Welcoming homepage. And then for the syllabus, so I hope you guys have already checked this one. 
So as you guys can see, here's the uh, credits uh, unit of this uh, subject. So this is a laboratory subject. So this is a two units uh, laboratory. All right. And then here is the schedule. So 7.30 to 11.30, Tuesday, Friday, and then Wednesday, Saturday. So this is already the second half. So as you guys may already know, uh, we just had the uh, final exam last week. So that's June 15, I guess, or 16, 17, and 18. And then, of course, starting 19 up to August 5, that's already the second half. All right. And then here's the course uh, description. So I'll leave the uh, reading part for you guys. And then here's the course learning outcomes, which is uh, kind of the same with what we have in here. And here's the uh, course content. So as you guys may already know, we have six weeks only. So for the first three weeks, that is for the midterms. And then for the last three weeks, that would be for the finals. All right. So again, I will leave the reading part to you guys. So if uh, you're wondering what could be the next topic, let's see, next week or next, next week. So we here are the list of topics. So you can, uh, you know, always check the syllabus and then, you know, feel free to prepare yourself, especially when it comes to uh, the things that you still don't know, okay, or you're not familiar with uh, yet. All right, and here's a free ebook, but uh, please do take note that this ebook, let me just check if this one is still working. Uh, it's not working anymore. Well, anyway, supposedly this is uh, just an ebook for the finals, okay, for the programming part, but don't you guys worry. Uh, maybe you will not be reading this one. So, uh, I'll just update this one if I can find a uh, super beginner ebook for programming so that you guys can have a heads up when it comes to uh, learning about programming, okay? So, to those who are curious what language we're going to use, so we're going to use Visual Basic, okay? So, I hope you guys are hearing that language. So I'm pretty sure that you guys are hearing about Java, JavaScript, C, C++. But uh, for startup, Visual Basic, uh, Visual Basic is a, a very good uh, language, especially if you're a super beginner, like uh, you know nothing when it comes to programming. Okay, so that is the reason why that's uh, the language that we're going to use. Okay, and then here are the basis of evolution. So this is most likely common sense already. So as you guys may know, we are evaluating you guys to your, you know, how you discuss things, uh, your scores and quizzes, assignments, and then examinations, okay? Especially your examinations, of course. And then, of course, uh, successful completion of all the requirements of the course. So this is also very, very important. So please do take note that if you have missed one important major requirements, so when I say major requirements, those could be your quizzes and... Uh, laboratories. So I, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to include here uh, laboratories, but let's just say that uh, your assignments are your uh, laboratories. Okay, so uh, your laboratories are also a major requirement for this course. Okay, and then of course, last uh, last one is the standard leading system of the university shall be used, which is this one. Okay, so uh, and here to make it short, the passing score is only six percent. All right. So if you're aiming for a grade of 75, so you should at least get a grade of 60% in everything. Okay, so in your exam, you should get 60 out of 100, let's say in uh, quizzes, let's say it's uh, out of 10. So it should be six out of 10. If it's out of 20, it should be 12 or 13. Okay, so that's the uh, grading system of the UC. Okay, and then here's how we compute your grade for the midterm score for the tentative final score and then your final uh, score, all right? Okay, so that's it for the syllabus. So are we clear so far? Are you guys able to follow? Hello, hello. Am I too fast or uh, just fine? What about the others? Okay. Do we have uh, a foreigner in here who cannot understand the dialogue? Because sometimes I uh, also speak 
uh, Tagalog, especially if I cannot find the correct term or the uh, right word uh, to explain that thing. All right. So I guess, man. Wala, walang foreigner. Okay, so I think wala. All right, so that's it for the syllabus. So the next one here is now the modules. Okay, so you just click this uh, link right here, or you can uh, also click this uh, tab page right here. So either of those two, it will lead you to the same uh, link. Okay, or this uh, page right here. All right, so for the week zero, so please do answer this one. Uh, before the uh, given due date so that I could uh, I would be able to know about you guys more and then what are your expectations with this course and the things that you would like me to do to let's say uh, uh, further uh, let yeah further give you uh, knowledge with what you guys uh, still wanted to know aside from what we have here in syllabus so I uh, also mentioned here that we're going to talk about, uh, you know, brief uh, knowledge about Arduino. So this is only optional. As you guys can see, this is not uh, really part of the uh, syllabus, okay, from week one to week six. So if we still have enough time, let's say one more week, so we could maybe discuss about Arduino, okay? So this is uh, an additional, okay? If you guys would like to learn more uh, other topics, so please let me know so I can add it right here. Okay, so I can uh, also prepare uh, that topic, all right? Okay, and then for the week one, so the topic for the week one is inside computers on mo and mobile devices. So I'm pretty sure that, let's see, 70% or 80% of the content of this uh, module one, uh, you guys are already familiar with that. See, the remaining 20% are the uh, technical things or the technical terms or the... Uh, real definition of that thing okay like for example we are saying cpu okay to the system unit we're calling that one cpu but the correct term for that one is system unit okay because cpu is just a small part of the computer okay that's the central processing unit okay so that's one major uh uh problem when it comes to uh, our society right now okay like uh also the same with usb so we keep on saying USB uh, on the stick drive or on the flash drive. Uh, but in reality, USB is actually a port. Okay, that is where we are uh, inserting the flash drive. Okay, so that's also uh, one uh, correction when it comes to uh, our term uh, terminologies when it comes to computers. All right. So the first thing that you would like to check is always the uh, overview of this topic. So you can always check this uh, page right here module uh, one overview for week one so here are the leads of topic learning outcomes that uh, you will learn as you go through this uh, module and then here are the lists of topics okay and then uh, under learning resources we have three parts so first one is lecture presentation which is already uh, given in here so uh, this is the uh, presentation or the powerpoint or the pdf so just click this one and then it will lead you to the same uh, title or uh, this module one right here. Second one is the video materials. So uh, this one could be uh, coming from a prepared uh, recorded Zoom meeting, which I created, okay, which I made uh, last year. Or uh, this one could also be coming from a uh, recorded Zoom meeting, okay. So for the first two module. Okay, module one and module two. So I have already prepared a, or I have already made, okay, or already created a, uh, a presentation video which is discussing uh, the corresponding uh, module, say the module uh, two and module one. So for that, uh, just check the video. So uh, in other words, we will not meet or we will not uh, have a discussion for the uh, week one module one and then week one module two because I have already prepared a video for them. Okay, just check them. Okay, under uh, this uh, video materials right here, or you can also check them. Okay, under this watch uh, videos right here. So just click this one and then it will lead you to this uh, 
page and then just click this link and then it will lead you to a YouTube link. Okay, so this is a 45 minute video which is discussing the entire the entire uh, module one. Okay, so as you guys can see, this was created last year, June 25, 2020. So it has, ah, not yet. So just three more days, it will now become a uh, year. Okay, so I really hope that my way of explaining things is uh, kind of the same with how I explain right now. So plus, uh, please uh, bear uh, with how I explained things before because I'm just a beginner when it comes to, you know, uh, recording a, let's see, a tutorial or a, a short discussion, all right? So if you have questions in mind, like, for example, I wasn't able to explain uh, some topics uh, clearly or uh, you want more knowledge or uh, information about that, so you can message me, okay, anytime so that I can give you more uh, data or information about that, maybe, okay? Or I can give you uh, more uh, links or uh, reference for you to check uh, more information with that topic, all right? So are we clear so far regarding with the uh, module one? All right, okay. So again, are we clear? So I hope I could at least see uh, half of the participants are uh, responding. Ah, baka yung iba nag-join lang tapos natulog na agad. Sarap ba namang matulog? Lalo na umuwi. Yeah, sir. Okay. All right, so uh, if you have questions, so feel free to ask me anytime, okay? So you don't need to raise your hand anymore. Just speak right away, okay? Because uh, sometimes I, I miss that uh, there are people raising their hands. So just speak right away, okay? So no problem with that. Okay? Or just use our chat box if you're uh, quite shy to use your mic. All right, so that's it for the module one. So uh, again, we will not discuss this one anymore because I have already prepared a uh, recorded video for this one, okay? So the same with the module two right here, okay? So uh, I will not publish this one yet. So for now, just focus with the uh, week one module one so that you guys can also uh, see uh, the things that you need to see, okay? Because you might get overwhelmed if I will uh, publish two module uh, at the same day. So maybe I'll just publish the module two tomorrow. Para naman uh, hindi kayo masyadong <laughs> ma-mental siya kasi syempre. Uh, kagagaling nyo rin sa review, matinding review uh, last week sa mga subject na din dun. Alright. So, yeah. And... What else? So, uh, if you want more information, so I included a ebook. Okay, so uh, under reading materials, I have one ebook here, uh, right here. So just left click this one, and then it will lead you to this ebook. So I would say that eighty to ninety percent of the information came from this ebook right here. Okay, so uh, for the module one, uh, you can uh, check more uh, information regarding with this one. Okay, you will see similar pictures, similar uh, definition because uh, again, 80 to 90% uh, of information came from this ebook. Okay, so inside of desktop, inside of laptop, what is a motherboard, uh, what is the tracking software, cables, processors, etc, etc. Okay, so feel free uh, to visit this one. Okay, and if this one is still not enough, then... Uh, maybe you can search more information about the internet, okay, about uh, how uh, computers work, okay, on YouTube, on the uh, articles, uh, anything that you can find on the internet, okay, so just uh, put the keyword, okay, or the uh, name of the topic, and then it will give you a lot of uh, choices, all right, so yeah. 
that's it for that uh, ebook right here. All right, so let's move on to uh, the next one. So under uh, learning materials or page, so this is where you can find the uh, PowerPoint presentation or the PDF itself, okay, which is already uh, published in here. So just click this one and then it will lead you to our uh, PDF. Okay, so just wait a second. So you can download this one to save it uh, offline to your uh, device, or you can just check it right here, okay? So you can view it also using your uh, canvas. All right, so that's it for the uh, learning materials. And then uh, under uh, OER or the lecture videos or watch videos. So again, this is where I put the uh, prepared recorded uh, video. And this is also where I put the uh, links for the recorded uh, Zoom meeting. So this meeting right now is recorded. So to those who wasn't able to, uh, you know, uh, start this meeting, so you can check uh, uh, the link uh, right here uh, later on, okay, uh, after our meeting. So I'll upload this one on uh, the YouTube and then I'll put here the link. And what else? So under practice uh, exercises or uh, a drill, so it could be graded or not graded. So I uh, put here uh, a link or uh, one uh, of the link in here is a pre-made okay, from the canvas. So you can uh, check this one, you know, just to practice your knowledge. So uh, we have some sample questions right here. So which of this is an example of hardware. So uh, just choose your answer and then move on to the next question. So we have uh, eight questions in total. So as you guys can see, this is a practice exercise. So this one has a unlimited attempts, okay? And then uh, whichever uh, score is the highest and that is the one that will be kept, okay? So just keep on trying. So if you have a uh, wrong answer, so just uh, attempt again and then uh, until you uh, uh, perfected uh, everything, okay? So the same with the uh, two links, though this one is from uh, the outer uh, URL already, okay? So this one is from the canvas itself, but this one is a website that is coming from a pro props, okay, website, and then the other one is quizzes. So I hope you guys are familiar with uh, these websites okay so pro props are providing uh you know uh, mini quizzes so 10 questions 20 questions uh, when it comes to where is the uh, category uh let me see all of them. okay right here okay so this is a website wherein you can uh, visit. Where is that one? Ah, here. Take a quiz. And then, of course, we have millions of topics. Okay. But maybe not millions. Thousands of topics, maybe. Okay. So uh, about maybe anime, about uh, anything that you can uh, find in here. So we have, uh, they have a lot of topics. So uh, feel free to visit this uh, website. So it's very fun. Okay, and quite intriguing sometimes. Okay, and at the same time, of course, you will learn a lot of uh, basic information. So this one is quite the same with uh, quizzes also. Okay, so you can uh, learn about mathematics, learn about English and language and arts, about social studies, uh, world languages, science, computer science and skills, and so on and so forth. Okay, so yeah, those two websites are super super helpful when it comes to uh, learning new things okay so do take note that uh, this one uh, only comes with a uh, basic questions okay or maybe yeah base beginner up to intermediate but uh, when it comes to like professional uh, kind of questions or oh, uh, maybe you cannot find it here because this one is only providing a uh, uh, beginner to intermediate uh, level all right 
So after the practice exercises, of course, here comes now the assessment. Okay, so when it comes to assessment, uh, you can find here the quiz and then assignment and the laboratories. All right, so here's the instruction for the first and second laboratory. So in here for the first laboratory, so this is very straightforward. So just, uh, you know, using the paint or paint 3D software, paint anything that represents your personality or character down below of the painting, right? Uh, and as a on why it represents you. Okay, so just use your paint and then paint anything. Okay, so take note, should should be you, okay, the one I was going to paint that uh, picture or image. Okay, so you should not uh, download a picture and then paste it uh, on the paint and then put here the uh, description why it's representing you. Okay, because if I found out that uh, that picture came from the internet, okay, you're not the, you're not the one who uh, painted that one, then I'll give you a zero right away. Okay, and then this lab number one is 100 points. Okay, so imagine if, you know, you will uh, get a zero out of 100. So just be careful with that one, okay? So, you know, just a simple picture will do, okay? As long as the uh, description okay, or the essay uh, really fits, uh, you know, your uh, picture, okay? Your, your personality on why uh, it represents you. And then for the second laboratory, okay? So in here, uh, there's two parts actually. The first one is making a pers uh, per yeah, personal resume. And then the second one is, so here's the sample uh, resume. And then the second one is a, a recommendation letter. Okay, so uh, the instruction is already in here. So just copy this one as it is, and then just uh, do the things that uh, it's being mentioned in here, like insert UZ logo, all caps and bold, and then bold, and then type your degree, and then type here your name. Okay, so you don't need to change anything in here. So there's two parts for your lab uh, number two. The first one is the uh, resume, and then the second one is the recommendation letter. All right, and then for the instructions, so you can find it right here. Okay, so we have A to G. So just follow this one. All right, and then you'll be able to, uh, you know, finish this one without a problem. So, do you guys have a question so far? Hello? None, sir. None, sir. Hello, sir. Sure. All right. So, we're almost done with the module one. Okay. So, uh, for the module one quiz, uh, so I'm not sure yet if I will uh, publish this one on June 29th, but just to be safe, uh, you know, just review this one before June 29th, okay? Because I, I might uh, publish this one. So as you guys can see, this one is not yet published. So you cannot see this one uh, yet on your uh, canvas. So just uh, review the module one uh, before uh, June 29th. So you're going to have a quiz for the module uh, one. And then lastly, of course, you're going to have a case study, or let's just say that uh, discussion, okay? So when it comes to discussion, so you'll be given a facts and then a questions. And then uh, sometimes I put here uh, other uh, related articles, so just to give you uh, more information. Uh, I also put here some uh, videos which you can watch just to give you more information for you to be able to, you know, uh, answer uh, the question, okay? So in here, just click reply and then just, you know, uh, give your answer. So this is a 50 points, uh, say, a seat break. Okay, so this one belongs to the uh, seat breaks. Okay. So yeah, this is also a big, uh, a big thing when it comes to uh, your class standing. All right, so the due date of that one, let me just close this one. The due date of the one is uh, also this uh, June 29th, okay? So you guys have exactly uh, one week from now to finish the lab number one, lab number two, and then the uh, case study number one. All right? 
So are we clear so far? So for uh, week one, module two, uh, let's just discuss this one uh, tomorrow. Okay. For you guys not to, you know, uh, get overloaded with the information. Okay. So yeah, that, that's it actually. And then the resin here. So I, I, I hid them because I do not want you guys to check uh, your grades yet. So maybe I'll publish this one uh, soon. And for the quizzes, so when it comes to quizzes and then uh, assignments, where's that one? Yeah, assignments. So just always go with modules, okay? Because sometimes, uh, you know, in uh, assignments and then in quizzes uh, page, there are some duplicated uh, quizzes and then assignments in there. So to avoid that one, just uh, always go to modules. So you can uh, check here the things that you guys need to finish, okay? And then if you wanted to check your score, you can also check it on the modules. Okay, so that's it for now. So do you guys have a question so far? Or clarification? None, sir. None, sir. Okay, so I hope everything is clear. So yeah, that's it for now since I've mentioned that this is just a short meeting, okay? So tomorrow is also a short meeting, but when it comes to the uh, week, I mean, uh, yeah, module three uh, onwards up to module six. So that is not a short meeting anymore because I wasn't able to prepare a uh, recorded uh, video for those uh, topics. All right, so yeah, that's it for now. So if you guys don't have a question anymore, so just give me a thumbs up and then you guys may now go, okay? And then thank you for coming. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, too. And goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, then.